So this is a quick demonstration of another LCD uh, 16 by two, but in this case, it's got the PCF 8574 I2C backpack that sits on the back of it. And it's a little different than the Adafruit backpack that I used in a previous one. And basically, well, you can't use the Adafruit driver because they use a different GPIO expander. So in this case, uh, what we're gonna look at is the same configuration, a PC with an LCD driver, but a different one in this case, we're gonna run. And it's kind of cool because we can actually do this on a PC with a breakout board and have the panel attached to it. And we don't actually have to have an IoT device, right? Like if you're gonna do something with the needs interrupt driven real time, you would put all that out on a, a computer or a microcontroller somewhere. But in this case, we're actually gonna use this breakout board and make this a status display and just set some text out there. And I hope that it looks right it looks really weird in the little mini view. Anyway, so that's what that looks like. And what we're gonna do is this guy, D Highlands, he created a circuit Python and I wanted to do this in circuit Python because um, the beauty of circuit Python with this Blinka piece is I can actually have this MCP 2221 uh, board configuration in there and it will actually let everything run as if it was running on a microcontroller, but it's actually sitting on top of my on my desktop, right? And so if we use that same circuit Python code uh, that we see here, and we use all those other pieces, we can, and then if we want, we can actually take this same program, whatever we wrote with the same driver and change this configuration and actually make this a microcontroller and roll everything on it with zero code changes. It's really pretty freaking awesome. Okay, so, what I'm actually gonna use is his repo. I did a clone on his repo so I could run this. And this thing's currently, the, the code actually will go out and look at the I2C bus because that's what it would do if it was sitting on a, um, how does this work? Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is just try and run this thing, right? And I've already set, the, the only thing you gotta do is you gotta make sure that the Blinka um, variable is set so that when you run the Python environment, it knows what board you're running on, okay? So I'm gonna close that out and we're gonna drop into Python, right? Now, what's interesting, I just dropped into Python. You know what, let's make this a little bigger. I just dropped into Python on this thing and it's just regular python shell no big deal right i could go help right so i'm just sitting in the regular python and the way this thing was set up uh this test program just has a main function and when the thing is loaded it's going to run main right so this is a class python class uh test program that just happens to use the driver that I showed you about, right? So we're gonna run this test and it's gonna load this LCD and it's just gonna exercise the backpack. And we're assuming that all backpacks of this type, I2C backpacks on these LCD displays are using the same pins, right? So, um, oh, that wasn't what I meant to do. So let's go back down here and I'm back in the REPL, no big deal. So I should be just be able to say import circuit Python I2C LCD test. It's gonna load this class and then there's an initializer at the bottom that'll run the main function. So it's gonna go out, it's gonna look at the I2C bus because we're in Blanca, we're in uh, the Blanca library has already been loaded um, and all these things will run on top of that. It will. So right now it's writing out the custom characters. That was actually part of the test. Wrote out a string. It did some bitmap characters. It wrote them out to the display. And then it's just gonna exercise a counter and turn the display backlight off, turn the display on and off. Um, so you can have the backlight on with the display off and it's just gonna do every combination. The display and the backlight is on here and it's running. And then it's just gonna flicker those different states where it turns the backlight off and the display off or it leaves the display on, but the backlight off, whatever you wanna do, that's what this test program does. So it's pretty cool, super easy, right? What we were able to do is actually run, just plug a breakout board into the PC and be able to run the exact same code here. And like I said, as long as if you're doing like sensors and LEDs and servo control, that's not real time, 
interrupt driven, then you can test all this on your PC and then download it into a controller and big parts of it will look, run exactly the same. So I hope that was useful. If not, too bad. No, just kidding. Um, leave a note if there's something else. But this uh, breakout board thing on a PC to me is actually really cool because it means you don't have to write any microcontroller code for this. The only downside is this thing can't do like SPI, doesn't, or it doesn't have PWM, no pulse width modulation, no GPIO. It'd be really cool if we had a version of the driver for this for like a RP2040 because then you'd have like all the PIO and everything else you could program with it. So I hope that's, no, this is it. I'm done now. Go get one of these little boards and play with it. And actually it'd be pretty cool for kids too because you don't have to have a microcontroller and do all the download. Like I said, all I did here was just run Python if I quit. Oh, can I remember how to do that? Yeah, so I'm just in the regular REPL, right? And um, now I'm back on the machine. And all I did was load that test file and all the drivers came with it. And that's, and it just went, man, it's amazing, really.